some bacon, some sausage. We've got uh, some hash browns and some rolls. Is that right? And I've got, here we go, ready for this one? I've got some black tea. I've got some milk, which I'm probably going to get some more milk. I've got my eggs. I've got three big pieces of salmon. Hash brown. Those little crazy sausages they have. Bacon right here. They do their bacon weird. It's uh, pinkish. But then I've got some rolls. I've got a salad with seaweed. It's real seaweed. So big old thing of tofu with a mixture in there. I've got rice with uh, plums, um, some pickled products in there, and then some miso soup, which is of their area. So it looks a little bit different. I think I'm going to eat I'm going to try some of this. Right here. Great, right, that's good. That's good stuff. It's a little salty, but I think it tells about the thing. Yeah, it's soy sauce. Mm. I see it goes good with it. It almost has a. It doesn't have a seafood to say. The regular seaweed. It's almost minty. Minty with a hint of taste like dill pickles. That's interesting. Okay, over here watching us. <laughs> Alright, wow. I hope that's not a prelude to how the day is going to be. Just went over there, got out of the, uh, uh, getting our food, which was pretty darn good, wasn't it? Yeah, food was pretty darn good. It's not too humid today. I, you know, it's humid today, but it's not hot. That's, that's a good thing. But uh, I don't know how good it was when we walked out of that place and the guy who was going into it, some Japanese guy, was just completely soaked. But he might, he, I'm, I'm praying he went on a run. Because if he was just walking around the streets today, that's just, that's, that's just, not, a, that's just not a good sign. There really isn't. That probably, that's probably, probably our bus. 208. 208, it's not our bus, we need 206. 208, not 20. Don't have my other one. Five and one, six. All right, quickly, it's becoming humid. Very, very, very humid. Why am I wearing a, a black shirt? I have no idea. It's going to be coming off pretty soon on our bus. But, uh, crummy change of events right here. I had a, a nice notebook would had all the directions to all of the stations that we're supposed to go to, the trains, the buses, where the stuff is. I had that stuff all done up and uh, don't know where it is. I misplaced it somewhere. So until I get my bearing, it sounds like I'm going to be flying blind today. I mean, just from memory, you know, hopefully my noggin serves me well and I remember where the stuff is. I can, I can tell you it's the 206 train, I'm sorry, the 206 bus. I have to get off of Gion, and then there's some, I don't know, some name which is about as long as the alphabet. I have to go there too. Oh, that girl almost ran me over. Look at her. That's a villain. Girl almost ran me over. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do a vlog and she's trying to kill me. I've been sitting here for about, I'd say 10, 15 minutes, and man, the heat is just starting to crank up. I mean, man, the humidity is through the roof. I mean, there you go, that should be a little bit better. I mean, I can barely see out of my glasses right now. It's so hot. Those damn, those damn bugs just keep on. They're mocking me. They're, it's, it's, just, it's just like an insect laugh is what that is. Hell. Very hot. So you'll make it over there? Sure you will. 
feel the steam of the makeup. Really hot, they just steamed them. Right. That's hot, and in this heat, it's just gonna kill me. The, the red bean. Is it a nice bean? Your, your teeth are green. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably staying up for a life. We'll probably now go home and they'll be like this forever. And they'll be like, hey everybody, how you doing? Hey, good job. So I think Nathaniel's gonna have to take a bite too. Here you go. You can see. My teeth. Yeah, you're gonna have to. See how it is. What'd you think? You can take you can take more than a little rabbit bite. You I take, can't a, take a take a rabbit bite. Yeah, you do. You take a little nibble of it. Just take a bite of it. Hot. Yeah, I know it's hot. There. What do you think? How does, it, how does it taste? You like it? I know it's probably probably not the it's probably not the smartest thing to get walking through Gion right now. Gion district. This is the old park of Kyoto. Got the shops here, a lot of restaurants, things like that. This is where it uh, looks like everybody collects at and mix around. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to look around with them and see the different stuff. Uh, looks like an old cop telling everybody to move away, don't be in the middle. Look at this right here. See? Little, little shops in there. Looks like they make handbags. They do. They sell handbags. The streets are a lot more busy than I thought they would be. That's for sure. People going in and out, people going to little restaurants. Yeah. So all the wooden ones all back here. Got a little, put a little knickknack gift shops right here. Hey, look at those shoes. Even those shoes will probably never fit me. Probably don't even fit me. I think the biggest size you'll get is like a seven. Those things look like they're like a five. Got a little advertisement for rentals of kimonos. I don't know. Wonder if they've got one my size. Gion Corner. This is one of the areas where the geisha go to to perform. I've heard all about this, but I think this was the place that we were going to go to, but we just don't have enough time. If we got back from the train uh, last night, and if we got back in enough time, which we didn't, we were way too tired, this is where you go to, and this is where they do the, 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 the Kabuki Theater, um, and they do all their little presentations and stuff. So it's over here. This is the Gion Corner. That's it right here, inside this place. But uh, what caught our attention while we're over here is, besides that, it looks like almost like a Buddhist temple over here. There's this big, huge, I don't know what it is. It's like a black and orange spotted giant melon. I don't know what it is. But uh, we'll come go check this thing. Right there. What is that? I think, I think in Japan where they have a black and an orange pumpkin. Chances of us seeing any uh, Miyako are Miyako or Gyako. Those are the actual true geisha. One is a, a true geisha, and one of them is a, a geisha on training. The chances of seeing them is kind of slim, but if we do, we'll definitely have to go oh and go. That's one right there. That's one right there. That's what they look like. That's not one of those phonies where the, the person all they're doing is is uh, renting a, a kimono and putting on the garb and running around going, I'm a geisha, I'm a geisha. No, 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 no. Yeah, we'll see if we can find a real one, but I have it down in there. Don't see any down there. This is show. That's, that's not one either. Okay, that's not a geisha. Those are not. No. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't think they are either. No, they are. Hmm. No. So, uh, you know what I'm to do? This is a beautiful little shrine right here I found right in the middle. This is a really nice little shrine right here. I like that. Really nice. Beautiful. Got the orange and the black. Has all the incense burning. You can smell the incense. 
see this place really hopping during the night. I mean, it really be something else. I mean, all these restaurants right here, and just right here is the little riverbed. Riverbed right next to where it is, and you can have these little restaurants just right here. And this girl's gonna run me over. But yeah, look at that, look at that. Oh my God, that is just beautiful. Look at this. Just the river just running right through it. One thing I can say about John is, it's very romantic. I can see how captivating it is at night it would be with the lights and everything else, the romanticism of it. I could see during the day, all these couples and families coming here and taking pictures right next to this area. I mean, there's no way you can't fall in love with it. Okay. One thing I learned was, was that even though I didn't find any geisha or anything like that, I did learn and I did find that the place is it's completely beautiful over there and I can just imagine how it is at nighttime. There, the whole, the whole river going through and such, and all the uh, the old Edo period look it has to it. It's uh, it was well worth the visit just to see that. I mean, it was very spiritually peaceful and it was calm. And you can tell the romanticism involved with it all, with the couples and the families that are taking pictures and getting close and things like that. Try captivating and capturing the images around the area.